yeah, yeah. Carpe these nuts. All right. Mr. Beast is being sued for launching these nuts. Chocolate bar by D's Nuts. YouTuber Mr. Beast's food company Feastables is being sued in a Florida court, of course it's Florida, for allegedly infringing on a Jacksonville, Florida-based company D's Nuts LLC's trademark for D's Nuts. How many times can I fit D's Nuts into this show? <clears throat> Mr. Beast's Feastable brand sells chocolate and peanut butter flavored candy bars called D's Nuts. According to the lawsuit, D's Nuts as the plaintiff identifies himself in the suit, was founded by Brian DeTori. Hopefully I've spelled that right. Pronounced that right, I should say. Uh, who registered the trademark D's Nuts on September 25, 2012. Plaintiff has consistently used D's Nuts uh, mark in commerce for the sale of gourmet-flavoured peanuts over for over a decade, the lawsuit alleges. In that time, according to the complaint, the company became a market leader in selling processed nuts, raking in millions of dollars annually. Who loves these nuts? We love these nuts. <laughs> um, now, this is interesting because obviously when you're talking trademarks, it's got to be in the same area. It's got, it's, uh, actually, I probably should have reached out to Kurt for this one. It's got to be in the same uh, sort of sphere of influence I can't necessarily see anyone confusing D's nuts with D's nuts. But I can see why they have a legitimate argument over trademark here. Are you going to confuse D's nuts with D's nuts? Yes, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep doing it. Um I have no idea what it is with Americans and peanut butter. Although peanut butter and as you guys would call it jelly Oh, not bad. Uh, okay. I, I'd never heard of D's Nuts. That's, that's not really surprising. There's probably any number of million dollar companies out of the US that I've never, he never heard of. That's not really the test here. It's whether or not people in the US would reasonably conflate the two. So, who owns D's Nuts? Uh, D's Nuts or D's Nuts? <laughs> D's Nuts with a Z is Feastables. D's Nuts with an S is owned by D's Nuts, LLC. Uh, Dietry chose the name the lawsuit explains in honor of his grandmother, Adeline Damore, who was known as Mrs. D. Her laughter and belief that life should not be taken too seriously inspired him to select a trademark that paid homage to her and her comedic flair, the lawsuit says, Hence, D's Nuts was created. I would be interested to see exactly how far back the meme goes, though. When was the first time that D's Nuts was used for a comedic effect outside of whatever else? Yeah, Mrs. D's Nuts. <laughs> Just call him Mr. Beast Bars. Don't even know what the flavors are. Oh, there you go. The story's just plain nuts. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has a rec record for D's Nuts filed by Brian on June 15, 2011. The lawsuit, filed on August 25 and highlighted by Court Watch, claims that D's Nuts has, had an, has an established a brand identity thanks to marketing efforts undertaken by the company. In 2016, the lawsuit claims the D's Nuts logo was attached to an RV as part of a grassroots marketing campaign. The RV went on tour across the United States, including stops at the National Peanut Festival, the NASCAR Championship Race, and the Cowboy Christmas Show in Las Vegas, amongst many other venues. Here's the thing, though. And this is and look, this is in no way law, this is my own personal opinion. If you work at something for 10 years in terms of notoriety, in terms of fame, in terms of brand awareness and people still have no idea who the f*** you are, I think maybe you've wasted the trademark, and I think there should be that should be open to dispute. But that's my own personal opinion on that. In 2017, the lawsuit alleges the trademark was updated. The same year, according to the lawsuit, D's Nuts began selling at retail locations like Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm sorry, what? 
An ABC Fine Wine and Spirit in 2022, the lawsuit says a deal was arranged with Walmart to sell the product at Walmart. All told, the lawsuit alleges that D's Nuts spent a total of $600,000 on direct marketing to build up the brand and that expected sales for 2023 are between $4 million and $5 million. Mr. Beast launched the D's Nuts Bar publicly in February in a viral video on X. Is this a case of the phrase D's Nuts becoming too generic, though? Is it something that it is it like trying to trademark the word nuts? We'll, have, we'll, we'll see the argument. Um, Mr. Beast launch. Yep, got it. Uh, Want to run this as a Super Bowl ad, but $7 million was, way, uh, was a lot of money, you guys, so you get it here. I'm not going to play the video. Uh, D's Nuts sent Feastables a cease... <laughs> I was going to say a, feast and, a cease and desist letter after the video launched and received a response from the company in April saying that it would keep using the mark. According to the lawsuit, since Feastables launched its product, Adiz Nuts has been contacted online by fans accusing them of infringing on Mr. Beast's copyright. <laughs> That's a bit funny. <laughs> A user named Noah left a Google review for D's Nuts in December 2020 before the Feastables product launched. Noah gave the company five stars and commented, NUT! <laughs> because the Noah user had a Mr. Beast logo as his profile picture, the lawsuit alleges that he has a business associate of Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's probably a bit of a stretch. His real name is James Stephen Donaldson. I would want to see significantly more linking him to that than just that. Are you kidding me? D's Nuts also says that Walmart started carrying their products in June 2023, but that a search for D's Nuts in Walmart's online search tool only sh returns hits for Feastables D's Nuts bars. It alleges that the infringement caused by its brand, uh, sorry, the infringement caused its brand irreparable injury by creating sustained customer confusion between the two. Yeah, that's looking a little bit more likely, honestly, based on that. Um, mind you, if that was a marketing ploy, someone at Mr. Beast's area is going to get that. He's going to cop it up the ass, frankly. Uh, Jimmy, aka Mr. Beast, is locked into legal battle with virtual concept dining for now for how Beast Burgers has been destroyed. Yes, Jason, at some point I will talk about that as well. Um, I was going to actually cover that in depth, but given that that has actually been withdrawn due to jurisdictional issues, um, until that's refiled, I want to. I want to wait. Man juice and D's nuts in one night. That's a fun Saturday. <laughs> Is D's nuts a candle on wax malt place? If so, I have some. Okay. Uh, D's Nuts is asking for damages from Feastables after a full accounting is done of the company's profit earned from the alleged infringement as well as legal fees. Yeah, so that's a pretty short article because we are going to look at the actual lawsuit itself, complete with pictures for those of you that have a short attention span. This one on face value looks fairly straightforward. There was an existing tra there was an existing trademark. It's being infringed upon. Does the Z is it enough, given that it's actually causing market confusion in a competing area? He's probably going to have to fight this one, actually. <laughs>